Peglin's a jack of all trades. We're only on Crucible 2? I guess they have added new things since. Spinventor, keen mind to modify the properties of pegs and orbs, round rule. Oh, it depends on who you beat the game. All right. Let's uh, let's do go back to the standard Mr. Peglin on Crucible 2. See if we find any new stuff. Decoy R. Enemies don't get their extra turns for your first reload. Walls and bottom bouncers. Extra bouncy. Post battle healing is increased by 1% for each orb in your deck. 5% currently. Hmm. House of Slime. Extra bouncy stuff. Boo -doo -boo. Ah, Slay the Spire. Your level layout thing has influenced too many games. 200 health trees. We got only our standard stuff here, so bombs are probably a worthwhile investment of time. Go on, hit it. Yeah. That's the extra bouncy floor. I've seen bouncier. When we get to the dagger, that's when we want to hit the exclamation marks. Or we could do it right now. That's fine, too, I guess. Must hit another bomb. Come on, the bomb. The bomb, damn it. The bomb! No! Ow! He hit me. Come on, the other bomb. Yeah! Alright, we just win now. Laser fires with huge force, only hits, refresh, critical, and bombs. Pierces through all others. Extra bouncy, low gravity. It has a little special thing next to it. I don't know what that means. Deals no damage. Heals you for each peg hit. Permanently removed from your deck after it's used. <coughs> Rubber slimes applied to every fifth peg hit. Doubles the amount of spin faction on the enemy. Mm, I do love poison. Do love me some poison. <laughs> Only died on the first floor of this location. I almost died. There's no music during the, uh, the reward selection. Laser orb or spin faction? Thanks are hit. <clears throat> So we can only hit refreshes, criticals, and bombs. Pass it through everything else. It does one damage on criticals? That doesn't seem terribly useful. Spinfection, of course, does nothing damage-wise. It just doubles infection. We have no poison. This is great for later if we get poison. I don't think I've ever seen the laser orb, though. Or maybe I have. I can't remember. It's been a while. We're trying to see new stuff. I'll take, I'm going to take Spinfection, double double, in the hopes that we get some Spinfection later, because I love poison. Love me some poison. And if we level it up, things get pretty good. How about the level ups on this? Pierces through all others. Honestly, I'm not seeing the value here. We can only hit like three things in the level? Fully upgraded, 2-4? Nay. Nay, I say. Double-double. And how much money do we have? 25? I'll upgrade it. Uh, 
Question mark? Let's look at the map. Got an elite down here. Let's head right. No, let's head left and then we'll branch after we hit the chest. So we could hit the elite. We want as many relics as we can hold. So chest, elite. We could do a chest, an elite, another chest, another elite, another chest. Perfect. That looks like a new boss, though. Let's go. Left it is. The silence kills me. Bouncy floors, you betrayed me. But it was still left, it worked. God damn. You stumble upon a strange mirror with shadows flickering in the reflection. You're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking a language you've never heard before, but you understand their offer. Remove an orb, minus eight HP. Let's get rid of one of our normal pebbles. Remove it. You embrace the infernal energy and push your pebble through the mirror. You hope the shadows make good use of it. Now here's where things get a little dicey. We want to go left. Please, God, left. Don't screw me on this one. You son of a bitch. This is right. You're going the wrong way. Oh, hey, I knew what I was doing. I knew I knew how to go left. I'm a bit of an expert when you get right down to it. This ain't my first Pegalo. I, I had you guys going, but I knew. <clears throat> I was pretty confident. I knew what I was doing. Get my first bomb. Easy. Get my second bomb. Easy. Clear the screen. Do, do, do. I don't want to do another bomb until I've gotten more slimes on screen. Yeah, when all four are on there, that's when I'll strike. I refreshed. Which is exactly what I meant to do, because they're all here. See y'all in hell. Do do. Alright, bud. we go. Apply spin faction. Grant spinesse. No, we want poison. There's something about telling our telling three slimes. I'll see y'all in hell. RPG Peggle. Well, this is this is Peglin, but yes, this is like roguelike Peggle. Have you never seen this game before, PJ? This game is awesome. It's like if you took Slay the Spire, but replaced all the cards with Peggle. And obviously the the fights are Peggle-based. It's a Peggle-based roguelike. It's awesome. Definitely buy Poisonous Sting. And continue. They're orbs! Wow, wow. From here, we're going right. Every coin collected during navigation is worth four. All attacks get plus zero plus one, the complex claw. For those of you who are not familiar with this game, plus zero is your standard attack. It goes up for every peg your orb hits on its way down each turn. The slash plus one 
that's the critical damage. So we're basically going to add a plus one to every orb we hit while we have the critical modifier applied. And you turn on critical by hitting one of the little exclamation marks. So this is just a flat buff to everything if we turn on criticals. This is just more money. But when it says during navigation, it means at the end of a fight, while we're like trying to choose left or right, turns all the gold coins to a times four. But it means you might go the wrong way because you're aiming for money and not your exit. I'm going to take the critical damage. I want to go to the right. Also, if you could blow up all those bombs in one throw, you get a bonus item. Good luck, because it takes two hits to blow up every bomb. You reach a clearing in the forest where the sun shines through brightly. Take a moment to rest. You heal and something strange happens. We're at 90, we could heal for 10. Yeah, sure. You're refreshed by the sun beaming down on you, but while you're resting, a strong monster sneaks up on you. 110, oh lord. Uh, we want to go to the right, so we should work on the right-hand side a little bit. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I want those bombs, though. Maybe after a few more enemies are on screen. That's a little... unwieldy. Front one's dead. Oh, I was eight away from getting a nice hit on the back guy instead. All right, this we want to hit one of the exclamation marks. Straight down, huh? Hit a bomb, please. And the exclamation mark. This is going to be a good hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Unfortunately, that guy with 10 health is going to take all 100 billion damage. Thankfully, we get our Spin Faction Ball. This is another one that would be nice to have the crits going for. Also, it would be very nice to have a bomb go off here. Well, oh, fuck me on this. Come on. I fucked me on this, damn it. That's all right, poison's really best for something like this guy with 360 health. I just want that bomb, please. You're killing me. That's fun. Gonna do a lot of extra damage to a guy with two whole health. Big boys here. What a throw. Perfect turn. Two whole damage. Don't do it. Oh, Lord. This guy's gonna wail on me. Boy, I'm glad I healed. I'm worse off than I was earlier. I know, I want the refresh. I want it. Extra bouncy walls has been working against me more than for me. Oh, oh, oh! Will he hit the refresh? Oh, thank God. It's fine. We'll be fine. Would've been cool to hit that, uh... uh critical. hit it. There we 
very funny. You're the worst. I guy didn't want any of that health anyway. There we go. Thank God I came here to heal 10 hit points and then lose 54 hit points. This orb is affected by Muskurkle. Another spin faction would be nice. Ooh, susceptible. Every two estimation marks triggers triggered applies exploit ball. 10% extra damage per stack on a critical. We have 66. I'm gonna get another spin faction. Gonna upgrade an orb. And continue along. Two times damage when your health is below 25. Every 11 pegs has a random slime applied. Applies healing slime to every 35th peg. I mean, my favorite item in the game is prime slime. I love prime slime. For longer fights, it's hilarious. Going in with less than half HP for an elite battle? Yeah, sure, this'll be fine. I'm filled with only confidence. Oh, it's the Minotaur Balls. Welcome to the Prime Slime. I mean, our opening attack was half his health, so I'm, I'm feeling all right. Trash that one. Oh, baby. Then the poison took him. Increases hit enemies debuffs by one. Can't ta can target any enemy. I do like target any enemy. Each turn, enemies with spin faction lose health. Apply a spin faction on crit. Apply an additional spin faction. Attacks all enemies. Add it. I don't know. I don't know why this has a little exclamation mark on it. Gotta take a heal there. When exclamation mark and refreshes, sorry, when crits and refreshes move, they leave a stationary copy. Increases max health by 25. Yeah, maybe it's new, like it could be something we've never encountered before. Projectile attacks pierce an additional enemy. <clears throat> I feel like that's great for our poison, right? Projectile attacks. Aren't all of our projectile attacks projectile attacks? So the duplication potion, very good. But I feel like this, if we could pierce one enemy for every attack, that's that's incredible. That would be real big because we're mostly moving toward poisoning things. Let's take the prime rod of frost and see how it works. Does it work the way we think? At this stage, we want to go. We want to go left, and then we want to go right. Wow! Wow! Do 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 do. The woods grow darker and darker as you progress until you find a clearing where it's pouring rain. Embrace the lightning. That's going to give us one of the lightning balls, and I think we take damage, or we take a random path. If we take a random path, it means we're going to miss the elite if we... It's a 50-50. 
If we go left, we're not getting the other elite fight. We're going to lose out. If we go and take the lightning, we're going to have a ball we don't necessarily want, but I'm okay with that. Let's embrace the lightning. You, as you walk into the middle of the clearing, you're struck by lightning. You shiver as the energy courses through you, but it harmlessly congeals in your satchel in the form of a ball lightning. Level two. All right, we want to go to the right. To the right. Yes. Post-battle upgrading now includes the option to increase your max HP. Question mark nodes have a 70% chance to be a treasure node, and treasure has a 70% chance to be rare. Or best story, I'll take that one. To the right. Do, do, do. When an enemy hits you, hey, we got lucky, we already got another treasure chest. When an enemy hits you with a melee attack, apply blind 15 to that enemy. The board will contain one additional critical. Pocket sand. I mean, the pocket sand meme is strong for me. I really like the pocket sand. Special button's a little bit more... You know what? No. Pocket sand. We're doing poisoned. If an enemy gets close, we just want it to die to attrition anyway. Hit missing us will be very useful there. Yeah, instant value. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, Minotaur balls again. There's crits there. You know what? I'm going to trash this ball so I can go straight to a dagger. What with the opening shot being very powerful. Oh, baby. Do, 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 do. It's already over. You're poisoned, my friend. R.I.P. It's Jover. Multiball. Multiball causes orbs to split into two when hitting a peg. Each additional level allows multiball to split additional time. I love multiball. Collateral ball damage. Convert every ninth peg into a high explosive bomb. Those do damage to us as well. Someone's one copies of the next orb in your deck. 56. I could upgrade and buy. I almost don't want... I almost don't want to buy it. Like, I love multiball, but we're building... We're building a poison deck, and we got a very nice one going already. The only problem is we got this ball lighting thing. But that's okay. Level 2. Level 2. Level 1. Cauldron bubble. I want this upgraded. And then... Heal again. wonder if the critical relic is still broken. The one increases your crit attack every, every certain number of pegs hit. I hope so. I love broken stuff. Bouncers contribute to damage. Previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed. Attacks gain plus two plus zero for every exclamation mark on the board. Betsy's hedge. Recombombulator. Bouncers contribute. I mean, that's pretty nice. Makes criticals useful both before and after. We want to go left. Right down there. I do like that it was instant value for <laughs> the treasure thing. Whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to all enemies equal to the number of pegs restored. Gain one Belusion for every stack of negative status effects you apply to an enemy. Percent chance to avoid an incoming attack. Belusion is halved after an attack is avoided. 
I wonder if bomb builds still straight up kill you. I mean, if you have a low health total and not a lot of, like, damage negation stuff, yeah, it can. You've seen how many bombs you could set off. I mean, this just sounds like a perfect combination for a poison build. Let's do it. Uh, to the left, please. Yeah, it sounds pretty good with poison to me. A dark obelisk looms before you. It hums with a tantalizing power, and you feel its connection to the earth. <clears throat> We can get an orb, or we could force a pebble into the obelisk. You feel a sense of disappointment from the obelisk for not utilizing its true potential, but it does absorb the pebble. I don't remember what you get from that thing, but I'm happy to remove basic bitch orbs from my deck. Look at the size of it! It's flipping huge! Let's see here. Get an orbalist, that's right. These vines will damage you and capture your orbs. Activate the greeny bits to get rid of them. Oh, baby. I'm just here for the poison. Enjoy. Hell yeah, the poison does apply. Doubles the amount of spinfection. Yes. I don't like how far down you're going there, buddy. You want more poison on you, buddy? fight. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Chemiball applies poison slime to every 7th peg hit. Target enemies take 10 damage for each active poison slime on the board. Mm. He never stood a chance. More spin faction? Like, we're doing spin faction, but like, poison's kind of a fun. a fun aspect of that. Nah, just more spin faction. It's already level two. Yeah, that's perfect. Buy it. Next, all enemies. Where's my new dagger? It's been infectious sting level one. That's my old one. I'm already healthy. No reason to do any of that. Moving on. The board will contain 10 additional refreshes, but each refresh only refreshes 8% of the pegs. 
all orbs get morbid, but the board contains one less refresh. Morbid allows orbs to activate. Oh, morbid's really good. Summons a round squirrel onto the pegboard whenever 30 orbs are hit, but it's destroyed after 100 uses. Attacks deal 2x damage, but every peg activated gets downgraded. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to just keep on removing anything that's not poison and get more doubling orbs, ideally. I mean, I really like the, uh, the morbid. Morbid's really good. But also, squirrels are just fun. We do lose this after a hundred uses, but it's fun. Well, let's take morbidity. Morbidity's great. Forest complete. Can't not think of Morbid time playing this game. It's always Morbid time. But squirrels! It's a fun map layout. Alright, let's consider. We could actually do Elite Elite. So treasure. Treasure, 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 a shop, followed by treasure. Oh, baby, we're gonna have so many motherfucking... Yes. I love... I love me some, uh... Some artifacts, some relics. Man, alcohol immediately, I'm just like... And relics? Relics? Oh, like... Shield doesn't save you, buddy. Do 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 Well, you might not have been here earlier, Mighty Odin, when they forced me to drink the grossest liquor in the world. Man, those hitting lots of things at the same time sound effects are loud. Do 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 do. Come on, get them bombs. Oh, baby. They made me drink my lord. It was gross. Jimmy drank it too, though, so it's okay. No, it was like, what, like 40 minutes ago or something? I was playing Path of Acra. Everybody's on screen that can be on screen? That's ideal. It was horrible. Poor guy. He's dead and he doesn't even know it yet. Slime time is so good. Double damage slime every ninth hit. Man, they're really offering me a lot of infectious stings, but... I don't need more, I just need to upgrade the three I have. Thank you very much. Level two, level two, level two, level two. Upgrade this bad boy. And then upgrade this bad boy. Oh, Kung Fu Hustle is a great movie. Fantastic movie, phenomenal movie. Definitely want to go right. All right, as long as we keep going right, we're going to get a lot of relics. Deal 20 times number of reloads damage to all enemies when reloading. Wall bounces contribute to damage. The bad cheese. All right. Followed by right. 
do 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 do. Want to make sure I open up the path. Is this out of early access yet? I believe it's leaving early access later this month. We're kind of just playing in a celebration of the fact that it's going to be happening soon today. But soon, soon. Come on, everybody. No, they're all out of the door. I can I can focus on killing everyone now. Have you been playing it, Tree Jam? Let's throw this one away. Go for the everyone takes damage. Where's the refresh? Down there, huh? Come on, I believe in you. Hit the refresh. I believe... Yeah, it's a little late, but good still. Poison everybody. Ah, you're waiting for it to leave. Yeah, I believe, like, in a week or two. Poison takes you. Doesn't really matter what we do, I just wanna... Poison takes him. <gasps> Another double! Hell yeah. And... Come on, be a nice clear path to the right. Right there. On the, uh, the bull testicles, it's really easy to let them slide around. The Minotaur fight's a great example of, like, you could just roll across those tiles. Whenever you gain Muskurkle, gain additional Muskurkle. Start each battle with Muskurkle. Really trying to tell me something here, huh, game? What's the deal? Trying to say I need to work out? Say in a week? All right, double elite fights. Doom, 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 doom. Hmm. Begin the fight. Whoops! Just, just murder that guy. No, 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 he said dick specifically. That was something different. Oh man, I was hoping it was this one. Oh well. No, no, Gomper just likes to quote. You too! You both are in. You're obsessed with testicles and dicks and stuff. Yeah, that was- that was not fair. That was a foul. God, I think this guy might be dead. He, he might not make it. Love Lanky back there. Refresh right there, perfect. Ow. Let's see, if it's gonna pierce him, it's gonna end up hitting the stupid shield back there. Hit the refresh! No! That works. Yes. It's super duper over. 
All right, well, we got chem ha chemi ball hazards. We can get some poison pegs. Exploitable. Let's just go straight to upgrades. Upgrade double. Didn't I just upgrade double? Am I losing my mind? Ow. Enemy spin faction will increase each turn. Oh my. When your deck is shuffled, I mean, why? I don't even need to look. Go straight to. We're doing spin faction. That's the whole point. It's beautiful. Fool! You stand before a man who does spin faction. Alas, it started with this one. We're gonna double nothing. Oh, I have two doubles. That's right. No wonder I was confused. Yeah, I could yeah. skip it, but why not just throw it at him to start? Get a little damage going. Do, 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 do. Yeah, start the poison. It's either I skip the ball, or I don't skip the ball. There's my refresh. Oh, yes. The funny poot sound of poison, yeah. Trash it. I wish I could trash this one. Mm. Keep bouncing, baby. Never stop bouncing. Trash that one, go straight to the double. Man, I'm sorry, boss fight. You won't be able to survive another another poison round of this. Morbid allows orbs to activate. Destroys any peg it hits. Downgrades each peg hit. Is that Kermit's foot? Best foot for orb? First peg hit, each shot gets plus 10. Can target any enemy. Just keep upgrading the good stuff. Each crit triggered for projectile attacks, causing them to pierce an additional enemy. They added foot to the game. Gomper's gonna love this game now. When applying positive stat effects to herself, increase the amount applied by one. When gaining max health, increase the amount gained by one. Each crit triggered for projectile attacks causes them to pierce an additional enemy. I mean, oh, Augur is the one. Clearly that's the one. Gomber's too busy making a secret dinner. Doodle doodle doo. Yes. Trash the ball. This is a fun level. I like this one a lot. Everybody on screen is fucked. There will be no survivors. Sorry, everybody. Bye.
I feel bad about that. Hey, what happened to all the people that came out of here before me? Dodged it, loser. Doubles the spin faction. He couldn't hit the. Come on. Oh, they're all dead. No. Activates each peg three times. Gains plus one, plus one each time you lose health through self damage. Oh. Bully ball. I could see a fun bomb bully ball builds. Ya da da da. Ya da da da. We want to go to the right. Not the worst thing in the world if we miss going to the right, though. Bully yourself into the grave. Brother. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. More relics, more relics. Gain one Balusion for every coin collected. Heal six when reloading. We already got some Balusion going on. Why not more Balusion? A shop, even though I don't really have any money. But that's fine. If we go left, we still get... We still get what we want. Which is more relics. Do, do. You can't afford nothing. What are you even doing here for? Get out of my shop. I'll give you an inferno if you're lucky. Sorry, buddy. Bye. I wanted to remove an orb, but I didn't have any money. You're poor. Whenever you heal, deal three times the recovered health as damage to the targeted enemy. Prevent the first time you would lose health each battle. That's the one. Would you like a one orb, perhaps? Give me one second, I'm trying to figure out what I just saw. On me phone. Is it my email? Ah, it doesn't matter, I'll figure it out later. I was hoping we might be able to get both. I give you Van Orb. Van Orb for you. You cannot afford the Van Orb. You leave now. Never darken doorstep again. I'll well, have fun being poisoned, everybody. My god, the fight's gonna be over on the first fucking turn here. This is without a crit. Goodbye. The boss didn't take it, that's alright. Oh, it's gonna double spin faction, but you don't have any spin faction. Do, 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 trash that. It's time to spin facts. That's the good stuff right there. I hope we hit that crit down there. Canonically, the shopkeep is. You'll find water bike, have good orbs for you. Only the finest orbs. I promise these orbs will not cause you to suddenly have balls fall off. Hmm. Only happened once. Other shopkeeper, not me. 
Also, pretty sure those testicles were loose to begin with. Totally unrelated to anything I may have been involved in. Let's double your infection, mate. Hit the refresh. No! Well, whatever. We're just here to double the infection. I got an 84% chance to avoid being hit. 88% chance to avoid being hit. Oh, yeah. We have a very nice poison deck going on here. Deepest peg lore. Uh, I think we could do more spin faction. I want that critical. Not that I really need it. What all the different slimes do? God, I can't remember. There's a lot. Does it tell us over here? Alright. Can I just, like, pass my turn? Can I just, like, be nice? I don't want to kill you, Mike. I just want the poison. Man, I'm doing too much damage already. That was... that was disgusting. I know there's like one slime makes it so you could bounce off of it several times, one makes it extra bouncy, one causes poison. Oh, I can't remember. There's there's a lot of different slime effects you could get on there. A lot of fun balls that I'm not going to touch. I'm not gonna touch any of these balls. I'm here just for poison. All this stuff, if I can remove it from the deck, I will. All orbs get plus zero, plus four, but the board contains one less refresh. Bombs become weak magnets, and refreshes and <laughs> criticals become strong magnets. Effect is full strength for four seconds and gradually decreases over the next eight seconds. Every shot has plus one multiball, but attacks get minus two, minus two. Matrushka shell. Like, we... We almost don't necessarily want too much in the way of, like, pure damage. We just want to poison everybody as much as possible. And Matrushka just seems like a fine way to do it. Let's see. This is 2-4, so it's only going to do real damage on a crit. 4-9, it'll do plenty of damage on both. Same. Only gonna do damage on crits, but like it's all gonna apply poison. But the magnet, we've never had it apparently. I have done Matrushka before. Let's do the Electro Pegnet. Do a new thing. Doesn't necessarily conflict with the poison built. Castle complete. Not gonna touch these balls. Oh, is that a QR code? I remember that boss, it like kind of cycles. It's so dark down here. Oh, I can barely see with me Pegasus. eyes. All right, we want to do treasure chest into an elite fight. Into a question mark, into an elite, into a question mark, into a treasure chest. And honestly, like, just to remove some pegle, some balls, some orbs, hit the double shot scenario, and then us off to the races. So we want to go to the right first. I guess I'll do the electric orb to start, sure. Take this opportunity to hit some bombs. No 
one wants to go to the mines. In fact, the children yearn for the mines. Oh god, a double, a double? Before we got any of the actual spinfection? That just hurts. The magnet's really funny. Bulwark, Camo Ball, Reorganizer, Shuffles the Pegs. I'm just gonna save my money. Orbald removes Orbs here, yes? The shop, yes. <coughs> you found ball removed? I remove ball. How many balls you want removed? One, two? All of them. You want me to take all balls? How am I feeling now? I'm alright. Ow! Slowly sobering up from your, your torture. Gotta go drink more of that stuff. It was good. Enemies with projectiles reflect X will return X percent of the damage dealt to them by projectile attacks unless the enemy unless the attack defeats the enemy. Time to kill myself by doing over a hundred damage in one attack. could just keep upgrading garbage balls, but I don't want to. I don't want to upgrade garbage balls. What is the ABV on uh, Malort? I assume it was like vodka level. Jimmy had a heavy-handed fucking pour, that's for sure. Whenever an enemy's defeated, refresh the board. Refreshes, activate nearby pegs when hit. Do, 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 do. Elite. Thirty-five percent. All right. I assumed it was forty, but thirty-five sounds about right too. Oh, upside down void bastard. Enjoy being poisoned. The poison shall take him. Do 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 seven four. Honestly, given that I could hit the. <clears throat> Crit. Go for a double. Hey, bud. You got enough poison on you? 50% chance to be immune to his damage. Doesn't matter. He's dead. Convert things, more spinfection, don't need them. Moving on. Every 11 gold <laughs> triggers a crit. Attacks get increased damage multiplier based on number of pegs removed. Bombs apply blinds when damaging enemies. I mean, we've never had that one, so let's take that one. If it ain't poison related... I want to go to the right. I mean, left is fine, too, but one of our many things says we have a chance to find treasure if we hit a question mark. Bow. Bow, bow, bow. 
Bum, 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 bum. The walls of the corridor appear to be tearing, revealing worlds that look very similar to your own. The tears grow larger and larger as you progress, revealing countless monsters. Near the end of the corridor, you see a forest boss. Enter the tear. Sup, loser? Yes. Spin faction. More power. Power overwhelming. Boop. The slime is a frustrating aspect, but poisoning this guy will be super easy. <clears throat> double and double and double again. Yep, they died. <laughs> Every enemy starts with three exploitables. Activated criticals also refresh the board. Targeted attacks also hit nearby enemies. Hmm. We removed a little refresh from our life earlier. Let's bring it back. I would like the critical. Uh, sorry, the elite, please. Do, 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 do. Ooh, spooky. So spook. Apparently there was a lot of stuff in front of me, but they're all taking uh, poison damage. What I find fun about Spin's Infectious Sting, we want to avoid the crits, but I went straight for it like a dum-dum, because they're refreshes now. How many things are in front of me? Well, if there's still stuff alive in front of me. Let them enjoy doubled infection. If they can freaking survive. Jesus. Don't hit a crit. No crits on this one. We hit a crit. It's going up by four every time. Yep, more stuff in front of me. No, not anymore, there ain't. There's still something alive? The hell's alive in there? Yeah, the magnet makes it so we hit them, but it's fine. Again, as long as we're doing poison, that's all that matters. It's really all about the poison. The spin faction. Looks <laughs> like, are they dead? Just continue. Not gonna upgrade the garbage, wanna remove it. 
Apply spinfection? Well, why didn't you say so? <clears throat> I mean, spinfection? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Come on, extra treasure. Catch a glimpse of an ethereal peglin. It appears to be some kind of echo of its former self or of yourself. <coughs> Upgrade an orb, I guess. The echo imbues you its remaining power before fading away. Ooh. I'd rather go left as opposed to right, I think. Or you know what? No. Right? Because if we go right, if we go left, it's a win for us. If we go right, it's still a win, just a lesser win. Whereas if we go left and then somehow we get fucked and we have to go left, we miss out on a shot, so. I would really like to remove a few of these problematic balls. The first orb hit by each orb gets, sorry, peg, gets plus 10. You have plus one orb discards, yes. Help me get through and get the right things first. I hate it when my balls are problematic, yeah, me too. Left. Come on, treasure. You stumble into a strange mirror with shadows flickering in the reflection. You're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking a language you've never heard before, but you understand their offer. All right, if we tell it to duplicate, chances are good it's going to hit one of our daggers. But if it hits the double, life is good. I feel like we could have it just do one random orb and we have a decent chance of getting lucky. We're gonna get unlucky, I bet, but let's do it. One random orb, please. An unpleasant transfer of energy, but your ball lightning, of course, has been duplicated. Had to be one of the ones I didn't want. I'd like to remove an orb, please. Uh, this stone, yes. Thank you. What else you got? Every reload grants plus two muskurkle. Refresh move after every shot. Bombs detonate while navigating provide five. All attacks get plus one plus zero. Yeah, at least it wasn't the pebble. Exit store. Wait, I forgot to buy- Oh, thank god, there's another location. It's basically like a Walmart. They're everywhere. No more pebbles. Each crit triggered this pierce, blah, blah, blah. Bramball. Oh my gorb! Every four times the board is refreshed, randomly gain a muskurkle or a spinesse. Battle start with five extra coins. Flying enemies are attacked horizontally, allowing for improved targeting. Increase your max health by 15. All right, the deck is pretty well refined at this point. Ah, uh, double spinfection, that does. Nothing for us to start, so let's put that away. Open up with a good piercing poison applicator. See, the thing is, on crit we do less damage, but on crit it should pierce everybody. Oh yeah. Oh my yes.
Oh, just double the infection, you say? <laughs> All right. I don't mind if I do. Are you sure you're pulling my peg? What's going on, Dumel? Put it in the garbage. It leaves early access this month. It's not out yet, but like in the next like week or so. Next couple of weeks, I believe. Dead. The poison works well. A loose circle. Like, I guess I could. Could level this one up. But I kind of just, I want to remove it from the deck one day. I don't care for it. So, like, let's just ignore it. Just ignore this bad boy. Yeah, yeah, Hades 2 is in early access. I hear people have been having a lot of fun with it. Have you been playing it? It's pegging time, just pegged all over the place. I remember when I did that. Yes. <coughs> Enjoy being poisoned, losers. Yeah, similar. Like, if I do end up playing it, I'll play it when it's out of early access, I think. Ow. But also, I'm not much of a Hades person, so I... I don't feel particularly drawn in any one direction for it. But maybe I'll like it more than one, I don't know. It's worth trying. You too, right? All right. So you're in my camp. I played a hundred hours of Haze One. I don't even care about it. Dang. Right in the trash can. Oh god, I love this boss fight. Yeah, the magnetic pass is really handy. There we go. Everyone's now poisoned. One of them can heal poison, though, which is... What a bummer. What's going on, Rip? It's time. Double the poison. There goes one of them. How dare you heal poison? You know that's against the rules. Which one heals? I think it's this one. Target the healer. Hit 
Hades is the roguelike for non-roguelike fans. I don't know if I can see that. Like, a roguelike is a game that you play over and over and over again. And... Ideally, the design of it is such that you don't get tired of doing the same thing over and over again. But I feel like that happens for me with Hades. Like, I, I don't find the actual loop as enjoyable. I almost feel like if I were going to pick a roguelike for not roguelike fans... I think I if I had to pick one, like, this is the roguelike for not roguelike fans, I would say... I would say Dead Cells. Like, Dead Cells has a lot of level variety, there's a lot of different branching paths, it's mostly, like, Metroidvania-esque, there's a huge selection of stuff. I feel like that's the one for not roguelike fans. It's like, it's story driven in that it has like a, a strong story and a lot of character. But the actual like gameplay loop, I find to be a bit on the grindy side. Without too much, uh, too much in the way of immediate variety for each run. And again, personal, like it was just how I feel about it. But, like, people that play Metroidvanias usually aren't playing them for the story, they're playing them for, like, the level excitement. Exploration. Combat. Mine's complete. Aw, oh, the run's over? <clears throat> Yeah, like, Dead Cells, I feel like you can, rip, you can get real into Dead Cells and not be necessarily a roguelike fan. That was a fun spin-faction run. I enjoyed that. Peglin Victory. we got here what is this down here oh this is the path I took neat do, do. yeah the next crucible has been unlocked I'll have to test Bellatro my non roguelike friends it's silly, like, roguelike, or sorry, rogue lights for a lot of these. Because you could have such genre variety, like this is a roguelite, right? But like, you, help, you hand this next to someone that's like, I really like Enter the Gungeon. This might be, they might hate this game compared to Enter the Gungeon. Same thing with Bellatro, like, it's a roguelite, but at the same time, it's nothing like, you know, Slay the Spire. It's nothing like Enter the Gungeon. The variety in the genre is is massive because it's like a it's a subgenre almost. You could put a roguelike in any genre. Fucking even uh, story driven stuff. Like when I think of story driven, I don't even think of Hades. I think of uh, think of World of Horror. Like that's story driven. In that it's literally like an adventure slash visual novel roguelike. Should we do one more Peggle run or should we uh, do a run of Rack and Slay? I do like me some Rack and Slay. We could also save Rack and Slay for tomorrow. Eighteen out of thirty one achievements. Where's my membership card? Buy every item in relic and remove an orb at Hagland Shop. Need to whip out my Pong roguelike. Can I think of a Pong esque roguelike? I feel like I wouldn't do Pong, but I would do Breakout. 
You could definitely do a breakout roguelike. Is there a breakout roguelike? There has to be. If there's a Peggle roguelike. Or, or Arkanoid. I always go with breakout, but yeah, Arkanoid is probably the better name for it. Preoccupied with what, Rip? What are you, what are you distracted by? Rogue Breaker. Is that a real game, Rogue Breaker? I hope it's good. There's a, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of uh, middle and quality video games in the world. And the roguelike formula, it's very abusable for middle and Just because the music of Peggle will drive me slowly insane, I think maybe take a look at Rack and Slay. Just a quick one run of Rack and Slay. I love Rack and Slay. We played the demo and I really liked it. 